kids are bored at home, right? And it's getting too hot to really tell them go play outside for very long at least. So here's where the Phoenix Zoo comes in, offering some virtual activities just in time, please. <laughs> so joining us now is Linda Hardwick from the Phoenix Zoo to talk about some of the creative ways that the folks at the zoo are still reaching out to the community, still there to engage and educate our little ones. Uh, Cruise the Zoo obviously was crazy popular with those cars being able to drive through. So Linda, tell us what's next. Right, exactly. So we're going to hop along the Cruz Zoo Trail right now that this is the last day for July. We are sold out and then we will start this back up again in August, August 6th through 10th. So I thought I would have the beautiful picturesque Savannah behind us as we talk about one of our really exciting virtual Camp Zoo to you. Typically this time of the year we would have hundreds of campers, kindergarten through eighth grade, running around the zoo, learning about animals and conservation. Since that's not happening this summer, we needed to bring Camp Zoo to the folks at home. So what we have done is we have pre-recorded lots of great information about animals, behind the scenes, keeper chats, all sorts of exciting things that you could get if you were part of Camp Zoo. And it's only $15 per session. And it's something that can be done in the comfort of your own home, on your own timeline. You just register at phoenixzoo.org. You pay that fee. We actually send you a code that then gets you exclusive access to these pre-recorded videos all about mammals, reptiles, birds, and amphibians. That is such a great opportunity because the kids love learning about animals and uh, the Phoenix Zoo Camp has always been one of the most popular in the valley. I was going through the website, there's just so much content already available, even for those who don't register for the camps. You guys have been doing a lot of videos. We have. I mean, there's just so much content here at the zoo. We have amazing keepers that are constantly sending us sneak peek and behind the scenes information and videos and photos about the animals that they love and care for. And so we launched our digital safari back in March when we closed our doors, but we're still continuing to build that resource online because we want people to stay connected to nature. And of course, if they're comfortable coming to Cruise the Zoo, it's a great socially distant activity. They stay in their cars with their own groups. They're cruising through the zoo, and again, we have more dates for August available for Cruise the Zoo. Awesome. Good to know. So, Linda, camp starts when? And I know you said we can kind of participate at our own convenient timing, but is it is it live this week? So, actually, so it's already underway. The next session starts this Friday, July 10th. And you can hop onto phoenixzoo.org and reserve your spot in that session and get access to those exclusive pre-recorded videos. We have really fabulous, engaging instructors that have spent countless hours putting all of this content together because they still want to bring enriching, engaging activity to those people who we would be missing right now through Camp Zoo. Definitely. Oh, I cannot wait. Uh, my eight-year-old is, is primed for this. So, Linda Hardwick from the Phoenix Zoo, thank you so much. Um, I encourage you to go to the Phoenix Zoo's website and find out all of the information that they are sharing with you and so many ways to explore uh, this really great treasure in our own backyard. So, thanks again. You stay well.